Happy Saturday, guys. First weekend of 2021. Thanks for watching. We have a long workout today. We're gonna start with bike warm up. Two minutes biking. You can steadily increase the pace on there as you go. Then we're gonna go 30 seconds per position for the rest of the warm up, starting with a hollow hold. We're gonna lay down. We're gonna squeeze the stomach, bring the shoulders up off the floor and hold this hollow position for 30 seconds. Then we'll go up to inchworm push-ups. Try to keep the knees as straight as you can. If you need to bend them slightly, that's fine. But make sure you're taking small steps with the hands to stretch out all those uh, positions throughout the hamstring and um, calf. Then we're gonna go lateral squats. So feet about twice as wide as the shoulders. You're gonna go squatting to the side. Notice Carly pushes that right knee out and then the left knee out. We don't wanna have the knee buckling in just like our traditional squats. That's gonna help us keep our upper body a little more vertical and sink down lower into that stretch. Then we're gonna go 30 seconds of scap pull-ups. Just gonna hang from a bar. You're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades back and down, creating a little bit of lift through these scaps. We're not bending the elbows, but working on retracting these scaps, which are uh, muscles controlling the shoulder. Then we're gonna go shoulder taps, down to a plank position. Yep, push up plank. You can keep the feet a little bit wider to help avoid moving the hips. So we're trying to go alternating hand to shoulder, switching sides, trying not to move the hips, throughout this range of motion. And then we'll go wall squat. Second time this week, Carly gets to do this one. So hands up overhead. Find a position where we can pass through a full depth squat, hips going below the knees without having the arms dragging on the wall or having the chest make contact with the wall. To make these easier, you would step the feet back a little bit and that should allow you to bring the knees forward more if needed. Then we're gonna go arch hold or Superman hold. So we'll go hands out in front of us, about shoulder width apart, squeeze the feet together, point the toes back, try to lift the chest and the thighs off the ground. Then we're gonna go push up to down dog. So you stay where you are. Yeah, push up to down dog. So perform one push-up, push the hips up, head through the window, driving the heels down, and then finish with air squats. So we have a lot of air squats in today's workouts. So let's make sure we're uh, practicing our good positions here. Notice Carly's driving her knees out so they stay right above the feet. She's having her hips pass below the knees at the bottom, and she stands up all the way at the top of each rep. So full range of motion. We'll do a little bit of mobility next. We're gonna go back to the wall and we'll do a turn back stretch. That's where you have your arm extended straight out. And then you are turning your body to face the opposite direction. Should feel this all throughout the forearm, biceps, front of the shoulder. We're going 40 seconds per side. And then a tabletop stretch. So we'll be down on the ground gonna have the fingers pointed or the hands pointed forward or hands pointed back I find backs a little bit easier you're gonna drive your feet flat into the ground push the hips up to extension and we're gonna hold this position for 40 seconds try not to let the hips droop down it's gonna be really easy to stay in this position really challenging to get that last little bit of hip extension so work on getting that for the full 40 seconds Saturday's workout is Barbie girl 30 minutes, as many rounds as possible. 1,000 meter bike or, or 1,000 meter for the guys, 800 meter bike for the ladies. Um, if you're gonna be switching to any machine, usually you'd see um, a 400 meter row for this or a, sorry, a 500 or 400 meter row or ski um, or a 400 meter run as substitutes. Then you're gonna do one round of Barbara. Barbara is 20 chin over bar pull-ups. So you can try to use those hips to perform the kip. Notice Carly kicks her feet up, then extends her hips, then finally pulls with the arms to get her chin up and over the bar. Then you're going into 30 push-ups. Chest to floor, lock out the elbows at the top. Break these up early so you can keep your sets consistent throughout that big set of 30. Then 40 ab mat sit-ups. 
you can go butterfly position or you can go feet flat on the ground. But let's make sure we're trying to sit up all the way. The shoulders should be stacked above the hips at the top and try to sit up tall rather than going as quickly as possible and staying crouched. Uh, keep that midline engaged uh, for the full range of motion and then finish with 50 air squats. Carly, show some fast air squats. Let's see, let's prove we can have great range of motion while moving quickly. So is that a little bit of hip hop at the top? What is this, a, a sweep move? Butterfly. Butterfly squats, tipping squats. Better than this. Yep, so even if you're touching the floor with your hands, that's not necessarily hips below the knees, so. Yeah, uh, good dance move though. So you're doing 30 minutes, bike, then one round of Barbara. For the home gym variation, we're gonna go same 30 minute AMRAP, replace the bike with a 400 meter run. You're gonna perform one round of dumbbell Barbara, which the only real difference is that instead of pull-ups, you're gonna do single dumbbell bent over row. So bend at the hips and knees, lower the chest towards the floor. So shoulders are just above the hips. And you're gonna go 10 on one arm, pull so the uh, dumbbell touches the top of the chest, elbows going back and to the side, 10 reps on each side, instead of the 20 pull-ups, assuming you don't have a pull-up bar at home. If you have an awesome home gym, then just do uh, the full pull-ups. We'll finish Saturday with some Olympic weightlifting. On the minute times eight, you're gonna perform two squat snatches. First four sets are at 63% of one rep max, Next four sets are at 68% of one rep max. Looking for one squat snatch, you can perform these touch and go or as singles where you reset each rep. So we're looking to get the grip set, then lower the hips, get that tension through the upper body. Barbell makes contact at the hip. So two reps on the minute, then you're gonna rest two minutes. And then again, we're gonna go on the minute times eight two squat clean and jerks. First four sets are at 68% of one rep max. Second four sets are at 73% of one rep max. The hands move closer to the hip, clean the bar to the shoulder, reset and perform a jerk overhead. So again, get your hands set, lowers the hips, raises the chest. Reset, deep breath and punch under that bar. Thank you.